Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live Live Good webinar, where we are going to talk about one of our brand new breakthrough products. I'm Ben Glinsky, proud CEO of Live Good, and I'm here with our amazing Director of Product Development, Mr. Ryan Goodkin. I'm really going to turn it over to him and, and just let him talk all about this product that really is, is getting a lot of attention, the best anti-inflammatory product probably ever created. So I'm going to turn it over to Ryan and, uh, and let him talk to you guys about exactly why this product is so powerful, what's in it, the benefits of the ingredients, how to use it, and, uh, and, and really what makes it different than anything else out there. So Ryan, I'm going to step away and let you take it away. Awesome. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Before you go, it's Dr. Ryan going forward. Dr. Ryan. There All right, go. guys. Hey, nice to see everybody. So I am actually a doctor of pharmacy. I've been a pharmacist for over 15 years. I'm just going to give you a real quick history of what got us to where we are today with these products and why my focus is the way it is. So from 15, 15 years of being a pharmacist, I've been in that reactive sick care model my whole career. And then I said, you know what? This is just crazy, guys. We need to focus more on prevention. And we need to focus more about identifying some root cause issues. And guess what I discovered? I mean, I know a lot of you already know this, but supplements are a cornerstone of good preventive medicine, right? So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. I want to give you guys a quick background on why we think factor four is such a revolutionary supplement. And that has to do with inflammation. So in flat, inflammation is sort of the common thread amongst almost all chronic disease. We're seeing heart disease as the leading cause of death in the United States. Right behind it is cancer. In the top 10 is diabetes. All three of those have inflammation as part of that disease process. And it can start really early. And that's what I wanna make you guys aware of today. I wanna I want to tell you a little bit about how to sort of identify it and to see if you suspect that you have any inflammation going on. And most people do, right? So inflammation is a normal, natural, healthy process. Like uh, a scratch, right? Or um, say cat scratches or a dog bite, or you get the cold or a coronavirus or the flu. The body has a very innate, very quick, very immediate response team that they send out. And it, and it, it recruits out all these inflammatory mediators and all these things that help the body get control of it, to isolate it, to correct the problem. And then they go away, right? They just go home. Like, great. All right, we're cool. We did our job. We're going home. Guess what's happening now in today's society? Now, I'm not going to single out anybody, but big food, big farm, big pharma. I mean, they're all sort of to blame a little bit for this because our food sources are a big culprit. I'm going to identify uh, seed oils as a major one. Um, look at seed oil. So we've got canola, we have safflower, sunflower oil. Guys, when you're buying your, your foods, take a look. If it has seed oils, I would love for you to skip over it. That would be amazing. That'd be one really great little easy tidbit thing that you can take away from this call. Hopefully you can, but unfortunately seed oils are everywhere. Um, but lifestyle is a huge part of that. And what's happening is we're creating this chronic, persistent, elevated infl inflammatory response, which just doesn't go home. It just stay, it stays, it's staying with us. And so we have to kind of come up with solutions and ways. And I've got a few ideas and tips for you um, to talk about today about how to help mitigate and get rid of that chronic pers persistent um, inflammation. All right, so let's talk about factor four. All right, this is um, amazing, right? Because it is the only product on the market that contains all these ingredients. And so we call it factor four because it has four ingredients. It's got fish oil, it has curcumin, it has coenzyme Q10, garlic, and then we added black pepper because we know that it increases the absorption of curcumin. So let's dive in a little bit on fish oil. Uh, fish oil is really important to me. I know Ben stepped out, but we live and we, we, our lives are based around the ocean. We're very passionate about the ocean. And so when, when we were picking a fish, it has to do with sourcing. So we wanted to source the best, highest quality fish for our fish oil. And we did that. We have an anchovy. It's ethically sourced sustainably stores, sourced from cold, deep water. And that's really important to us. Now, guys, when, when, when you have choices in foods, I'm gonna jump back and digress for a second into where do we get our fatty acids from? And that's the whole point of having fish oils. It's providing what's called polyunsaturated fatty acids. It's really important. They have an anti-inflammatory effect. They have a general health effect. As a matter of fact, the FDA has um, an official health claim. They have a qualified health claim on it. And there is a pharmaceutical product on the market. It's called Lovaza. 
So we know, we know, and there's scientific evidence, there's rigor, it's been tested, and the FDA has classified fish oil as generally regarded as safe. It's called grass status. And that's big, that's important. But going back to sourcing, it's really important that we started with, in my opinion, a small fish, right? We didn't want to go into the mackerels and the tunas, because guess what happens when you get into those older, bigger, larger fish? You, you kind of go up the trophic lever, up the food chain, and get to these bigger fish. And that those fish are the ones that are consuming the smaller fish. And over those, say, food chain levels, they're getting more mercury. They're getting more PCBs. That's polychlorinated biphenyls. Those are not good. And you know ultimately, it's not a good, good choice of fish um, for, for our product. So we've, we've focused on the anchovy. It's, it's highly concentrated fish oil. And this is where it gets really awesome. So for just one soft gel, we have 600 milligrams of EPA and DHA. Now, the EPA and DHA is the most important uh, omega-3 fatty acid. There are others, but the EPA and the DHA is what you need to focus on. So a little bit of a tip. I want you guys to look at other products if you own other products and you're considering the factor four. You really need to focus on the EPA and DHA. So look at the label, look at the supplement facts, and, and you'll see. The factor four has a concentrated fish oil. So 600 milligrams per soft gel is a really big deal. Now we put 60 soft gels in this bottle because I want you guys to focus on taking one soft gel twice a day because that'll get you to 1,200 milligrams of EPA and DHA per day. And at about 1,000 milligrams, we start to see this anti-inflammatory effect, right? And now we, we know that and we can measure that. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to Dr. Heather. She can't be on the call today, but she was really, really the driving force behind this formulation. And we just kind of took it and, and ran with it and just made it as awesome as it could possibly be. Because she can actually attest to the fact, and I've seen it too in a clinical setting, that when patients start on uh, fish oil, you can see a reduction in their inflammatory markers, actually in blood work. So you can see it in C-reactive protein, the interleukins. So these are different things that doctors can actually measure in the blood to see if it's working. And it's bringing down that chronic inflammatory response. All right, so now we're, so we're still talking about the EPA, EPA DHA. We want you to have at least 1,000 milligrams a day for that anti-inflammatory effect. Now, some people go up to 3,000 and 4,000 milligrams a day. And at those levels, you're really starting to see triglycerides to start coming down. Triglycerides are the fat in the blood. And that's where the FDA really honed in their research. They said, this is highly effective. This is, a, this is approved for drug therapy. And so it really started to do that. Now, why is that important, guys? Well, bringing down the fat in the blood is just one, one part of, say, your lipids, your, your fats and your cholesterols in the blood. But it, it's important because, let's go back to heart disease, the number one killer. Well, how does heart disease begin? Heart disease is stroke, heart attack, you know, those two really primarily. Well, it begins with an insult to the blood vessel, something sticky, something gets in the blood vessel and gets sticky and it sticks to the inside of the blood vessel. And what ends up happening is that chronic inflammation, things keep sticking and guess what those are called plaques, they're called plaques. And when that plaque gets big enough, it's slowing down the blood flow and something breaks off from the plaque, it travels, it gets lodged in your brain or your heart. That is exactly the blood clot that causes heart attack and stroke. All right, guys, so sorry, I digress a little bit, but I want you to understand why it is so important to, to, to use tools like this to reduce your risk of heart disease. Again, the number one killer. All right, so fish oil on board, up to three to 4,000 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA per day. All right, now that's the fish oil. There's plenty more to, to talk about on that, but we're gonna take a quick pause and see if Mr. Benglinski wants to hone in on any of those other topics that I just talked about. Yeah, awesome. I was actually gonna wait till the end, but I do have some notes. Cool. So you talk about three to 4,000 milligrams a day are kind of the, the optimal dosage. What does ours have? Yeah, so, okay. so do dosing wise, if you take one soft gel twice a day, you have 1,200 milligrams of EPA and DHA a day. That is our starting goal. I would suggest upper limit to be your 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams a day. So are you suggest, is it safe to take four or five, six, capsules a it's, day? Do you recommend it? You absolutely can. I would start low and, and kind of titrate up and speak with your healthcare provider if you are seeing anybody for, uh, if you have a doctor. I mean, you, it's been studied up to 15,000 milligrams a day. Okay. So. And, it is, and, and why take 
you, you mentioned one capsule twice a day as opposed to maybe two capsules together once a day. Oh, good question. Awesome question. All right, guys, these are actually soft gels. I would show it to you. This bottle, bottle is sealed. Um, you can open it? Yeah, we can open it. So <laughs> so one soft gel twice a day. I like to spread it out a little bit. Um, it's just like, two, it's, it's still fat. And I, when you put it in your, into, the, into the gut, I like to have it with food if possible. On an empty stomach is okay, but I spread it out over meals. I just think it's better dosing. Better, better practice, okay. more, yeah. more, more, more uh, efficacious. Perfect. And lastly, you talked about fish oils have fatty acids, which is a positive thing. What, what do fatty acids do? How are they good for it? Oh, that's an amazing question, man. Absolutely. So fatty acids are the beginning of our cell membranes. So that's the biggest deal in the, in the whole world. We're talking about the cells that make up our body are made up of fatty acids and cholesterols. So that's important. These are the building blocks of our cells. It's really important. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. All right. I'll keep taking notes. I'll keep, uh, <laughs> keep rocking. Yeah, man. That's great. Awesome questions. All right. So we're going to move on from fish oil. Um, I did say, I think most of the high points on this, we're going to go into curcumin. All right. So curcumin is the next ingredient, 150 milligrams of curcumin. And those, that is the, we actually chose a curcumin extract to focus on the curcumin noise. Curcumin is, I got a treat for you guys. Curcumin is the um, say active constituent of the turmeric plant. Turmeric plant. I just pulled this right out of my garden. I hope you guys can see that. It's bright orange. It actually has like a mustard yellow. That's what the inside of it looks like. And it's funny, it's a rhizome. It's like a root. So I just went out, it was ready. Boom, popped it out of the ground, came and rinsed it off. And uh, I'll, we'll eat some of this at the end of the show and I'll let Ben try it and tell you what he thinks. But either way, having that in our supplement was really important. Well studied, well documented. There's a robust amount of information supporting curcumin as an anti-inflammatory, a potent anti-inflammatory. Widely used for joint pain, organs, tissues, things of that nature, but also been shown to be beneficial in managing sort of that systemic chronic inflammation that we keep talking about. Um, curcumin, so we have a 10 to 1 ratio, 150 milligrams of it. It is also a strong antioxidant. So when you're talking about inflammation, we're saying, okay, of course, there's lifestyle, there's, there's environmental. And what's happening is we're ramping up some of these free radicals. I'll use an example of just not sleeping enough or maybe over uh, drinking too much alcohol, but you generate free radicals and those are sort of damaging to the body. Antioxidants are what counteracts them. Antioxidants takes down the free radicals and, and curcumin, curcumin is a potent antioxidant. So it's a radical ingredient. I'm so happy to have it in this product. It's a, it partners it very, very well. Um, all right, I think that's good on curcumin, Ben. Any questions, comments on the? No, I was going to ask what antioxidant is and free radical, but you just knocked it. Did we nail it? Crushed it. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, let's move on to uh, coenzyme Q10 is our next ingredient in factor four. So coenzyme Q10, it's a really big deal. There's a couple of different ways that, to make sure people understand how important this cofactor is. So coenzyme Q10 is involved in the electron transport chain. I know that sounds big and sciencey, but it is actually a, a very important cofactor inside the mitochondria. And that's responsible for the production of energy, just our body, just movement. And, and so we, what we need to do is make sure that we're giving our mitochondria, the cellular powerhouse, you know, the powerhouse of the cell, everything it needs to maximize ATP production. So again, ATP are those energy molecules. So coenzyme Q10 is a huge cofactor. It's involved in that. It's also an antioxidant. It's another benefit of it. And we've seen that now the body does make Q10, but we've also seen that it, it, it's being depleted by the body from some certain drugs, like a statin drug, a statin drug like used for cholesterol. Now those statin drugs we're using in over 35 million Americans, I believe in, in our country alone. So I think coenzyme Q10 deficiency is a, is a big problem. Now by adding it into this, product it has really allowed the body to maximize its efficiency in order to reduce inflammation and manage our energy. And it's also an antioxidant. So coenzyme Q10, it's uh, 50 milligrams. Uh, so if you take two soft gels a day, you get hundred milligrams of CoQ10, which is a really good, good dose of CoQ10. Uh, I think that's good on the CoQ10. Ben, any questions, comments? No, no that, that. That was good. I get it. Awesome, man. All right, so let's move on. Last ingredient, I uh, could show you a clove, but it's called garlic. 
it's just regular, it's kitchen garlic, but we also have that as an extract. And that's cool because garlic, now garlic has been around for centuries, right? I mean, we just, there's been a lot of studies on it. It's been shown to reduce blood pressure. It's been shown to reduce inflammation and cholesterol. So we're seeing a lot of benefits when it comes to heart health and to reducing inflammation. Also an antioxidant, it has its own benefits in the system. Uh, unfortunately, within um, the culinary space, you just, we're not able to use enough garlic to really make, have a meaningful effect. And so that was kind of our logic on selecting the dose of 50 milligrams of, of garlic. We think that, uh, again, doing, getting 100 milligrams through the day at least is, is a really good starting place for, for garlic and it will have a nice beneficial effect and also partnered in with these other ingredients. It's, it, it's a perfect combination of ingredients, all of it designed to help bring down the inflammation at chronic persistent elevation. Any questions on garlic? No, I have some closing questions, but if you want, if there's we're, anything else you want to talk about. We're almost there. We're going okay. to go with one more added ingredient, guys. This is cool. So one of the challenges that we have, or I should say I have as a formulator, is making sure that our products work. And that really comes down to bioavailability. So how much of the product that you consume is available for the body to use? And so curcumin, it, we know it's difficult. It has low bioavailability. So a lot of studies have shown that by adding biopurine, which is just black pepper, that's all it is, black pepper. Black pepper can increase the absorption of curcumin by up to 200%. Huge benefit. Not many products are taking advantage of it. And again, this being such a unique product, the only kind of, of it on, on the market, this is a huge benefit. And so I think that's an awesome addition. Awesome addition. Uh, finally, to round it out, you know, we care a lot about not using unnecessary additives, colorings, um, things of that nature. So this, this is a soft gel. So it's not a capsule. It's a soft gel. And it's a gelatin-based soft gel. It is uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. Um, but I want to make sure you guys are aware because you have to use a soft gel because it's oil. So we're putting oil into it. The capsule would never hold up. The, the, the uh, vegetable capsule wouldn't stand a chance. So, all right. That basically rounds out our product. Um, I could go on for a long time just on inflammation alone, Ben, but what, how do you want to yeah. wrap this up, buddy? Great job, Dr. Yeah, Ryan. Man. I'm actually really <laughs> impressed you kept that under 20 minutes. Are we this 20? guy loves talking under 20. Yeah, awesome. I got 18 minutes. Cool. He loves talking about these products. He's super passionate about it. And it, it, it's so cool to have him on board and, and to see that energy and enthusiasm and excitement about everything that we've got. So um, yeah, for him to, to, to do that and keep it so, so short, it was awesome and cover so much. So I'm going to open these yeah, man, yeah. Uh, just to show you guys what they look like. And I do have a few uh, closing questions for Ryan. Man, this thing is well. sealed. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we might need a mess to get that, uh, <laughs> that seal off of there. But uh, while we're doing that, so uh, you talked about why soft gels. That was one of my, my closing questions. Well, actually, yeah, you talked about they are soft gels. Oh, because the oil we have to do soft gels. So two of those a day, guys, one in one. So when would you recommend taking your two first meal and last meal? So one with breakfast, one after dinner? Yeah, sure, with, with, dinner? with dinner. Yep, with dinner, okay, with dinner. And you can take on an empty stomach. And if for some reason you should not experience, but if you do experience fishy burpee aftertaste, you're welcome to refrigerate the product. But so far we have, we've had no complaints about fishy burpee uh, aftertaste at all. Yeah, I've, I've been taking it for at least a few weeks and I yeah. haven't, yeah, great. Right. But I've been taking it maybe the wrong way. I've been taking two in the morning with breakfast. Fine. You really can't okay. do wrong <laughs> on that. As long as you get it in. Right. Perfect. Good. And then, uh, so inflammation. You talked about how inflammation is kind of the body's response to trauma or sure. something bad. And, but too much inflammation is what causes a lot of the sickness and disease and, right. and serious issues that we have. So a product like this, will it take away from the good inflammation? Mm, great question. question. Awesome. No, no way. No chance. It doesn't have the ability to do that. As a matter of fact, just being very upfront about this, this is just another, say, arrow in the quiver. This is just a tool. Okay. One of many tools. This is focusing on your supplement side of things. I, I encourage people to dive more into their nutrition and avoid the seed oils, right? Avoid the highly processed foods. Um, avoid alcohol as much as possible. So, and then you got to add in exercise. 
study after study has shown that just movement, just, just some regular exercise shuts down that chronic pers persistent um, inflammation, right? It actually encourages the acute type of inflammation to come and go, right? Get to work, repair any damage and get out of there. You know, and then of course, guys, there's other pillars of health we focus on. Stress, please, please, please manage your stress as best you can. There's a lot of tools now available online, whether it's meditation, yoga, different types of mindfulness activities, and sleep. Sleep is a big one, Ben. Huge, because that's where all the restorative process starts to happen. That's where that inflammation sort of should shut down and go to bed or change into a different type of, of management where the body is recovering, the body is you know, working on it's restoring its brain, it's taking out the waste products of the day. It's taking out the trash. So I always encourage people to really dive deep into their sleep routine. And I have a whole nother video on that that they can refer to. Um, yeah, and then look, I mean, some people that are, they're dealing with chronic disease. I mean, there's other issues there that need, need to focus on taking medication. And this is, like I said, just another, another tool, another arrow in the quiver. Awesome. And yeah. speaking of stress and sleep and mm -hmm. food and diet and exercise. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing trainings with Ryan and his awesome wife, our director of product education, Lisa Goodkin, specifically on each one of those topics and so much more. We're also going to do one on each of our in, uh, individual products to give you guys just full understanding yeah. of really how to maximize each product, each health condition, and just your overall health and wellness. Because that's really... I mean, you talk to this guy, that, that's his passion. That's, that's his okay. wife's passion. And, uh, you know, if he can help you guys, that, that, that makes him happy uh, as it does us. I mean, that's the, the whole reason we created this company, this amazing line of products is, is to help people get healthy and do it in an affordable way. Because a lot of people are spending, uh, Lisa sure. is a great example. My wife, you know, we're spending three, four hundred, five hundred dollars a month in supplements that weren't even as powerful and as awesome as what we have with live good. And now, you know, we could get the same and better products and, and benefits for probably a third, a quarter of the price that, uh, that other people are paying for, for some of the high quality products out there. So that said, I do have a couple more questions, I think. Um, no, that was it. The inflammation, good versus bad. So um, yeah, that covers it. And uh, you know, this was an exciting product. I know for Ryan, to create because of what inflammation does to our bodies and how so many people are suffering from it. So Ryan, let me just close it with this question because we did, you know, you mentioned the sleep and the stress and the mm -hmm. exercise and mm -hmm. eating well and mm -hmm. um, moving and so much more goes into overall wellness. Um, but just if people weren't doing the right things in those other areas, is this even worth taking and, and would it still help if the rest of your life is kind of messy? Yeah, buddy, that's a great question. Actually, that's one thing I would love to touch on real quick, but before I do, I don't want to forget, I'd love to see this as part of the daily essentials. Truthfully, I would, I think it's that important. And that sort of answers your question right there. Just having it as your daily essential is really important. But I will tell you guys that, you know, even if you, you're not sure if you need this product, but you, you, there's signs and symptoms, things that can kind of show up, like I'm going to highlight a few like skin, like uh, rosacea, um, uh, dermatitis, like skin issues can show up, autoimmune disorders, like, like um, arthritis and psoriasis. I mean, these are all sort of autoimmune, that's an auto, those are autoimmune examples where the body starts attacking itself. It's a, it's a heightened inflammatory response. And so there's other things like your body could be hot all the time. You could be in pain, just joint pain, right? Just pain, like prolonged, not normal, just right. like, oh, I sprained an ankle or something, but I'm talking about prolonged pain, prolonged back pain, joint pain. Um, and of course, we talked about other chronic diseases that you'll see in it, but like, you know, feeling hot all the time, you know, uh, just there's a lot of like signs and symptoms people don't realize are tied to chronic inflammation, right? So definitely it would suggest adding this on, uh, yeah, no matter what. Awesome. Last but not least, is there anyone who shouldn't be taking this? Product? Yeah, anybody that has an allergy to shellfish or fish, I, it's a precaution. It's not a contraindication. Um, if you are trying to manage very high, like triglycerides, fat in the blood, you should definitely be under the care of a physician, right? You shouldn't just be started titrating this up to, to five to, to 3,000 milligrams on your own, just hoping for you know the best. I would love for them to be under the care of a physician in that example, but generally very well tolerated. Very well tolerated. Yeah. Awesome.
Thanks so much. That pretty much wraps it up. One of the great things about Factor 4, as with all of our products, is they all come with a 90-day, 100% empty bottle guarantee. That means if you don't absolutely love it, you could use the whole bottle, every single capsule. If you don't love it, send back the empty bottle. We'll give you your money back. We don't want you to spend money on a product that you don't like or that's not helping you. So um, that's our commitment to you. That's our guarantee to you. And again, that goes with every single one of our products currently and future. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all we got, Ryan. Cool. Thanks so much, oh, man. My pleasure. It. All right, everybody. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye, guys.